I'm here with Graham O'Donnell, who just won $10,000, the national champion. For who wants to be a mathematician in 2017? 2017. Graham is a junior at Lincoln High School in Florida, and he's pretty happy about winning $10,000, I think. How does it feel to be national champion, Graham? I'm quite excited. I have yet to be national championship in any, national champion in anything this big, so... And did you like uh, playing the game? I, you won, I guess you might like it, but it was fun. It's the kind of competition I like. We're going head to head. Mm -hmm. We'll define the sequence a sub i uh, as follows. So a sub i will be the floor function applied to 10 to the i plus 1 over 7 minus 100 times the floor, fun floor function applied to 10 to the i minus 1 over 7. Which of the following is the lar train break? E. Uh, uh, D. E. 85. 85? E is in Edward. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> so if you didn't calculate all the terms, how'd you get that it was 85? So, really, it's because 100 times 10 to the i minus 1 equals 10 to the i plus 1, we need to think inside to be less, as close to 1 as possible without reaching out. It's the largest possible value after the decimal point. Mm -hmm. And because it's over 7, and the powers of 10 will cycle through all modulo 7, the highest possible value will be 6 sevenths, which is 0.857, or that multiplied by 185. Right, yeah, so it has to do with the decimal expansion of 7, which repeats as 6 digits, and then the, the pair, just like you said, the 85 is going to give you the biggest pair. Right now. Like you say, six, seven starts out with three, five. That's exactly right. Nice explanation. Nice to uh, go and figuring it out that fast. Uh, so great. This is the champion. How about a nice answer? Yeah. That was absolutely fantastic, Grant. Um, so Ken, I have this <laughs> just for safekeeping. Here's ten thousand dollars, Robert. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Already donating to the American. <laughs> <laughs> so here's your grand champion, everyone. Grand Madonna. always like math. I mean, ever since elementary school, I've been good at it. And that's probably what started it. Right now, I actually just finished a class called Intro to Advanced Mathematics. It's somewhat of a proof-based class. I took a dual enrolled at FSU. So yeah, I'd like to thank all my family for coming out here today to support me. Your grandparents were here, right? Yes, they did. We drove them all the way up from South Alabama. So. Oh, and then uh, they, they pretty happy too? Yeah, of course. They're always happy when one of their grandchildren does well in something. <laughs>